Tonight at 11, the search is on for the hit and run driver who left two eight year old girls in critical condition in Watts. For the first time and only on NBC4 tonight, Hetty Chang spoke with one of those young girls and her family about their plea for your help. Eight year old Kimberlyn Gonzalez tells us she's happy to be home, but can't move much without being in pain. And I hit my, like, my head too. After four days in the hospital, Kimberlyn's right leg is now in a cast and she has bruises yet to heal. The car like bumped us, me and my friend. Kimberlyn says her friend is recovering too. Crossing the street on their way to a Mother's Day family party, she says they were struck by a hit and run driver. Police releasing the security footage of the car that sped from the scene near 92nd and Compton Avenue the afternoon of May 9th. Police believe it's a newer model black or maroon Chevy Cruze. Me siento mal. Mom Maria says she feels bad and helpless. She tells us even trying to get Kimberlyn in her wheelchair is painful. Ella es una niña. El carro tumbó, se fue. Kimberlyn's grandmother wonders how anyone could hit two eight-year-old girls and just take off. Yo quiero que el público ayude. She wants the public's help to find the driver. So too does Kimberlyn, who even at a young age knows the meaning of courage. I think I feel like brave because when I got, got hurt, I just cried. cried a little and then I stopped crying. In Watts, Hetty Chang, NBC4 News.